Today I'm going to be shortening the shaft on my Minn Kota. It's the Riptide 70 pound. Some of you may be experiencing the same problem. So on a bay boat, the 60 inch shaft works really well. But when you're on a flats boat, like my Ranger Ghost for instance, when you're going through shallow water, you probably have about a foot and a half of shaft sticking up. So I figured I'd shorten it down about a foot and uh, I've never tried this before. I'm going to go through step by step with the process and hopefully if you guys feel the need to shorten your shaft as well then you can try it out. You know trout fishing is not that bad because I can run it pretty low but I have run into the danger of running it too low and then there being submerged logs and things like that that have caught it and could end up uh, damaging your trolling motor so uh, I'm still going to cut it down. That's going to help me out when I'm fishing shallow water and then also not have to run it down quite so deep when I'm fishing creeks and things like that for trout. First thing I'm going to want to do is uh, separate the head and there's four screws holding it together right here. I already got them started with a regular screwdriver I would suggest that because uh, there could be some corrosion you don't want to break off your heads of any screws you know, especially if you haven't really messed with it for a while and that comes off pretty easily like that. All right my next step I'm going to remove this screw which on the back side there's a nut holding it and that's what holds the head to the shaft and it's only one screw that holds it there's the nut. Screw comes out. Now the head slide completely off. All right, now I have the head removed, and you see you have about an inch that the head uh, slides over the shaft. So if you're trying to be precise, uh, make sure you include that inch there in your measurement. But I want to shorten this whole thing approximately 10 inches. So I've seen people use a Sawzall. I have a uh, pipe cutter. You can get them from Lowe's. Um, they're about 15 bucks, but anyways, this is made for cutting conduit with wires inside without damaging the wires. So I'm just going to put it right at the 10 inch mark. Just tighten it down until you feel it slightly cut into it and then from there you're just going to start spinning it around. As you spin you can tighten it more and more. You see it's starting to cut in the little blade right there. It's just cutting into the shaft. Okay so the first problem I ran into was the blade on the pipe cutter was not quite long enough. You can see that's uh, pretty thick, the shaft there. So I ended up pulling out just a uh, little hand saw. It takes a sawzall blade so I could carefully do it because I couldn't find a piece of metal to put down the shaft. So anybody you've seen that puts a piece of metal to guard the wires and then use a sawzall, they are smarter than me. So <clears throat> good job. I learned something there. Alright, now to get the head off, I'm going to have to disconnect these wires here. Okay, I uh, finally just decided to clip this wire because, you know what, I'm going to have to replace these anyways in order to uh, shorten the wires. So, the old cut piece should slide off, throw it in the trash. Okay, so got the wires pulled through, now I'm just going to... Secure the head, get it nice and perfectly straight. Now I've got to put a hole through there, but I have to make sure that I miss these wires. So, got a nice long pilot bit I'm going to run through. I'm going to do it really slow to make sure I get it in between those wires. Don't put those wires. Got these wires pushed back so I can. And, boom, that seems to be working there. So it's going up under these two wires here. Okay, I've got my new connector on here. This, these, I'm gonna have to uh, 
I have to wrap to prevent corrosion and the wire that's going all the way to the power head here I'm gonna leave because I am scared to mess with that one because uh, there's some very intricate electronics going on in here but uh, it does look like I can coil it up nice and neat and put it inside the head okay now I'm just being very cautious that wrap these wires up so that they don't get pinched whenever I tighten the head back on because that could be an issue. Check everything out. There it is. It's closed up. And I'll just run these screws in nice. There we go, that's nice and snug. Nice. Measure from here to the bottom of the shaft is now right at 50 inches from 60 to 50. And I like it.